now have the wonderful all-in-one paint in a gallon. So a gallon now you can use for your walls. It's the same paint. It's just going to be easier for you to think about it as a wall paint. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and show you some amazing tools that we have put together for our painting for walls. So if you have seen the gallon, here it is. It has a nice little built-in handle. We're going to paint this wall with our beautiful color spruce and show you how easy you can get started. So let me show you what comes in a tool package. Um, I think this is a great tool, and you're probably wondering in the toolkit what all comes in that. And this is a handy Because we have tool. new tools? Yes, we do. We have four great tools coming in this tool bundle. We have the paint tray, and we also have this spatula, and it's a wooden stick, of course, that has this little end on the bottom. That's going to allow you to get into the bottom of your gallon and get in there and agitate that up and give it a good stir before you pour it out into your tray and then you're ready to paint. So let me show you the two rollers that come in your pack. You're going to get our true uh, even, coat. even coat roller that is held on both sides. So this is a little different roller. It will fit onto a paint pole. If you want to use it on an extension from your broom, you can screw that onto the bottom. This is a fantastic foam roller, and this is another great tool, just a nice little roller. And yes, before you ask, I already know, you can use this on cabinets if you so prefer. We have our small roller, and this roller would work as well. But this is just simply for walls that we're going to talk about here to make it easy for you. So ask, the question is how much does this cover? This is going to cover, a gallon's going to cover 500 square feet. Put in the paint. I offload it on this side against my tray. In other words, this side doesn't have very little paint on it. And then that's where I'm going to push straight into the corner and either drag or pull down the wall. That's going to give me a perfect edge. And a lot of you are tempted to tape the tape is going to give you more of a ragged line and a problem than it is just to go ahead and take the sash brush or the angle brush and paint it. Much easier to me, but you might like taping, but personally, I think it's harder to tape than it is to just do that. Like and follow for more great DIY tips.